In this series we're going to look at mixing drums and percussions, synths and vocals. If you want to learn more mixing techniques, make sure you check out our courses at pointblanklondon.com. Hi, Rob Rocks again for Point Blank Music School. This is part two of Mixing in Logic Pro X. The topic for this tutorial is how to mix thins. This is an E piano over here. I just used uh, the API for coloring the sounds without any settings. They are all set to default. Then a basic uh, low cut to get rid of all the, the sub frequencies. This is more to create space for the, the, the sub bass and a basic compressor. But I want to show you what I did in the breakdown part over here. Um, I bounced, I bounced this um, file in place. You can do, easily do that over here, bounce regions, and then select. I mean, make sure that this bypass effect plugins is not uh, selected. So. Logic will automatically create a new file and a new track with all the insert effects. Okay, I already did that over here. This is a preset I've created. It will increase the stereo field. because this is the breakdown part without any drums and uh, this thin should fill the whole track. Then over here we got another piano. I used the, the Pultec EQ for coloring the sounds, no settings at all. Then I used uh, every road compressor. This will add a more analog vibe, but keep in mind that um, this will cut the top end or presence of a sound. It's pretty much the same than the CLA 2A. So it's very important what com kind of compressor you choose for your sound. Some of the compressors, they even add um, harmonics to the sound, like the Fairchild. This is kind of a de-esser plugin, which adds warmth to the sound. And the sound is getting less sharp. And at the end, I used a compressor with the kick as a sidechain input over here. The piano is the main element in this part, so I want it to be a bit more groovy. Let's play it with the kick. Over here. Barrett. So the kick cut through a lot better in the mix. Let's move on to the strings. And what I did here, 
is a technique to increase the stereo width. You can just add a stereo enhancer or something, but this sounds more organic to me. I bounce the whole stem into two mono tracks and uh, this is how you do it. Just select the whole track, then go to File, Bounce, Project or Section and make sure that you select the split audio. Logic will bounce the WAV file into two separated mono tracks, the left and the right side. I already did that and then you just import that into your mix and this is the left side, it's panned hard left, the right side is panned hard right and I also added a small delay the left side is minus 7 milliseconds and the right side is plus 7 milliseconds. This will uh, avoid phasing issues. Alright, let's listen to that. Without the two mono files. sounds a lot fuller and then I routed all the three files to one auxiliary track which is called master strings and I added again a basic compressor just to um, to get this analog vibe then um, this one is a special vintage compressor it brings life to certain elements A dynamic EQ, especially for 2.5K and 5K to control the, the, the presence. Another pull tag without any settings to color the sound. We already talked about that. And the last one is, uh, this is actually a free plugin called Dimension Expander by Xfair Records. And I really like this plugin. Let's jump to this part maybe. This dimension expander um, makes the, the strings brighter and even more stereo. The last thing is uh, the synth plugin over here. Playing the melody, I started with a uh, low cut to get rid of the sub frequencies. Then uh, this is a plugin that I really love on high frequency synths. It's uh, the SPL Vitalizer. So I use the stereo expander and I used this mid-high tune knob. To boost the top end a little bit. Then I added a lot of harmonics and saturation.
this is the main melody so this this plugin brings it to the front another one um, which is pretty cool for like percussive elements or even uh, plug synths so this one and the the SSL compressor give the sound uh, a more um, harder attack Of course, it's more in your face. On the on the SSL, I used a very very fast release to get it almost pumping, and then another compressor. This one is especially for vocals, but it does something to the high frequencies so i thought maybe it could be cool on a high frequency synth as well and the last one again is a, a deesser to make it less sharp Alright, that was part two. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching.